So if this is declare play only, the auction's given to us, we have no control over that, and we just want to take as many tricks as we can. Same contract, same opening lead at every table. Um, so, very first board, partner opens a diamond, and of course that uh, is an excellent way to get the robots to lead the suit. All you have to do is open it, and they feel very excited about leading away from a bunch of small cards. Doubleton, three small, basically any any excuse to lead your suit because they're hoping they can get a rough. Um, <clears throat> not a great <laughs> strategy overall, but the robots do this sometimes. So, we're in two hearts. I mean, off the top, we have a diamond loser, a club loser, and two trump losers, if the trumps split. We do still have to deal with a bunch of these black suits that we might need to rough out. Um, I mean, the simplest thing to do, well, let's see what happens on trick one, because we don't know what East is going to do. Maybe diamonds actually are 5-1 and East gives their partner a rough. I will have to squander the beer card, obviously. We have to protect the four diamonds. Now, I could dump the king on this trick. There aren't enough missing spot cards where East will be confused if I dump the king, so I, I don't really see any reason to do it. I think I'm just going to play the seven. Um, like, if I were to play the king, we know that West can't have the Eight of Diamonds, um, because either the six is from a holding with the eight, where West would have led eight from eight doubleton, or it's from a holding without the eight, and then East has it. Um, <clears throat> so like, if we dump the king, I mean, East still won't see the four of Diamonds. I guess the king and seven are effectively the same, in a sense. Um, but it feels less deceitful to me. Like, one thing that I notice is a tendency of players to just always do one thing, like always play their highest spot card in these spots to try and throw the defense off. Um, and it always seems somewhat fishy, especially if you do this and like, a defender realizes that you've done something unusual, then you know they'll uh, they might think things through and realize that you're trying to prevent their partner from getting a rough, and they'll be like, "Oh, maybe my partner is getting a rough." Return the suit, partner trumps. Um, so playing the king kind of feels like one of those deceitful plays, which is why I like to avoid it, if possible. I mean, if it was the right card to play for whatever reason, I would do it. But here, we can just pretty comfortably play the 7. It might look to East like West has led from 6-4 doubleton, if this is in fact a singleton 6. And East might switch suits to clubs or spades or something. Um, so let's see what happens at trick 2 before we make our decision. Okay. <clears throat> so what I was going to say is that in the best case scenario, what I kind of want to do here is um, duck a heart, win the ace of hearts, run diamonds pitching a club loser, and then cross rough the hand. Now, if you count everything, I'm only gonna have two trumps left and I will have three small clubs in dummy. So I need a parking place for one of those club losers. <clears throat> which could have been a spade finesse. And I mean, it still might be a spade finesse. One of the things that's a little concerning to me now is if I take the spade hook and West wins, um, West can play a club throw. They'll be able to set up a club trick. I won't have been able to pull trumps yet. And so they'll end up getting a club. But I'm not sure that that's avoidable. 
like if I win the ace of spades, I mean, what's my plan next? I could like rough a spade, duck a heart, you know, win the ace of clubs, cash the ace of hearts. It still kind of feels like taking the spade hook is my best bet. Like, I, I, I really just don't see what the plan is if I hop up with the ace of spades. You know, again, I, I can rough a spade and duck a heart, but they play back a club. I, I feel like I'm still kind of short tricks. So let's just do this. I expect the king of spades is likely offside, but it probably doesn't hurt. King of clubs switch is interesting. I mean, that to me indicates that West really probably should have just led the King of Clubs at trick one. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to duck this trick. I, I think, I, is that true? Hold on. Am I going to duck this trick? Wait a second. Let me, let me pause to briefly consider this. I was going to say I'll duck this trick because I'm a little concerned about a diamond rough still. And if I like win the ace of clubs and go duck a heart, east might win, cash a club, give west a diamond rough or something like that. Um, or if west wins the second round of hearts, they can cross some clubs to east, maybe. But maybe it's just not, maybe I can get away with winning the ace of clubs and playing ace of hearts and a heart. I guess if hearts are 4-1 and they can pull three rounds of trumps, they might be able to cash two clubs. That's kind of the risk. I've said it before with the robots, there's no way clubs could be 6-1 here because that just wouldn't make any sense, you know, on the auction or based on West's opening lead, but I'm... <laughs> There is some chance this is like king, queen, empty six. The East has like singleton jack over here. And it goes like king, small, jack, small, club, rough, diamond, rough, club, rough, diamond, rough, you know, something like that. If I duck. Yeah. I guess another issue is if clubs, even if, even if I duck and West continues a club, clubs could just be 5-2. I, I think eventually I'm just going to have to play Ace of Hearts Heart anyway. It's a little too risky to leave the trumps outstanding when the opponents might just be cross-roughing. Um, so, okay. I am committed to the idea of Ace of Hearts Heart. Hey, Susan. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate that. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. So the hearts were in fact uh, were in fact four one, and now if the clubs are not blocked, West can cash two more clubs. <laughs> so what did West lead? I guess it was a singleton diamond. No, West led a doubleton diamond rather than the king of clubs from king, queen, jack, fourth. It's so insane. <laughs> well, we certainly could have done better on that hand. But, I mean, I don't feel too bad about my line of play. It just happened to be really bad against this exact distribution of the cards. I'm not sure we could have done better. 
Now, obviously, this line of play of like winning the ace of spades and roughing out spades, the king does drop. It would have been more effective if I knew that West had short diamonds with long trumps. Obviously, I would be less worried about a diamond rough, but... Oh well, minus 100, probably not going to be a great score for that board. But let's take a look at the second board. We open a diamond, Westover called a spade. Partner made a limit raise, we get... It looks like this double just shows spades from east. We bid three diamonds, which feels like a really bad bid to me. Like, we didn't need to have the six card diamond suit when we opened a diamond. So, this three diamond bid, I don't really think conveys the str I mean, I would just pass. I would certainly just pass. Um, like, I don't see any reason to blow by two no trump if partner wanted to bid that. I don't really see any reason to um, tell partner that we just have like this weak hand with a minimum opener and short diamonds. Anyway, we bid three diamonds, partner bid four clubs. We went four spades by east, which is a little weird. This is very weird. Because if East had a hand that just wanted to bid four spades, they've gotten no new information from their partner here. They should have just bid it directly over the the two spade bid. That would put more pressure on us. You know, we wouldn't get this four club bid from North. And we bid five diamonds, which again, I'm not convinced I like this bid. I might have just doubled. I mean, in fact, I, I probably would have just doubled. You know, not because I think I have great defense, but partner clearly has a very strong hand over there. And king double to the spades is not a great card on offense. You know, I like the fact we have a big diamond fit, but I just don't think they're making four spades, and I think our chances in five diamonds are probably going to be pretty mediocre, but we'll see. What does partner have? So, oh, well... After this lead, our chances are looking up in five diamonds. We get the ace of spades lead. That's not that surprising against this kind of auction. And we get a heart switch. Okay. I'm still a little concerned to buy this four spade bid. A very difficult thing to analyze is when you know the opponents have made an incorrect bid. Like, what does their hand look like? <sighs> because the sequence just doesn't make sense from East. So I'm trying to work out why would East do this? If they were planning on just bidding four spades anyway, is it possible that spades are 6-4? I think it's unlikely. I mean, definitely possible, but... Hmm... So if spades are 5-5, five, five, my guess is the reason East doubled first was they were worried that four spades would show too weak of a hand. So that is starting to sound like the king of hearts is over here. I mean, Wes, no matter where the king of hearts is, has to switch to the six of hearts here, obviously, looking at this menacing club suit in the dummy. <clears throat> You would never consider not taking the Ace of Hearts and dumping the heart on the Spade King? Well, it's it's a little more complicated than that. Yes, if the next two tricks I could play are Ace of Hearts, King of Spades, I would totally do this. Um, but I think I still want to take the Diamond Finesse. Diamond King can be on side. But I don't want to win the Ace of Hearts and play a Diamond to the Queen. That's a little too committal. 
So I'm thinking my line of play is Ace of Hearts, I'm going to cross to the Club Queen and then pitch hard on the King of Spades. Then rough a heart to Dummy, lead the Jack of Diamonds. Um, so I think that's going to be my line of play. But um, yeah, I mean at Imps we could just like win the Ace of Hearts, play a Diamond to the Ace, play the King of Spades, and then like claim on a cross rough. It's a very simple hand to play at Imps. At match points, though, we're, we're, of course, still trying to take 12 tricks if we can, um, but we do not want to go down on the contract. So, I, I mean, I'm just trying to figure out what's the safest way to, like, take all the finesses I want. Um, and, I mean, part of it is, like, I'm trying to co convince myself that there are hands where East could have the Diamond King. Because if East can't have the Diamond King, I don't want, like, clubs to be 5-0, and to go ace of hearts, club to the queen, roughed, um, king of hearts, something like that, or, you know, heart to the king or whatever. Um, I would rather just play a diamond to the ace. But I, I think east could have, um, I think east could definitely have both red kings on the auction. So I, I just like to be a little, a little careful Make sure that I'm playing for something which could exist instead of uh, instead of not. How about lead the jack of diamonds at trick three, intending to play the ace from hand? Well, this this might be an okay play against the robots. One concern I have is what if he shows out on the jack of diamonds? And I think that's a very realistic possibility given the four spade bid. That East might, uh, once they find out we have this like big diamond fit, might be more convinced about um, four spades being a good save. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I, that's why I'm here. I like, uh, <laughs> I like talking a lot, in case you couldn't tell. So yeah, if we do go Ace of Hearts, Jack of Diamonds, and he shows out, to keep our diamond losers to one, we have to duck this trick, but then that gives up a, a heart in the process. So, I, I don't think we can take that line of play. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is Ace of Hearts, Club to the Queen. Like, I honestly would not be surprised if West roughs this trick. Like, East could easily be uh, five, three, zero, five, or even four, four, zero, five. I think both of those shapes are very possible on this auction, but it's not imps. We want to try and take our finesses if we can, so. Nine of hearts might confirm the, uh, the can of clubs. Or king of hearts. Um, I'm going to lead the queen just to see if anything interesting happens. It does not. <laughs> uh... <laughs> So uh, against humans, I would still absolutely take this hook here. Hmm. <laughs> Ten, you say? Um. <clears throat> All right. They get a trick. How badly did I do? <laughs> King of Diamonds was offside. Yeah, spades were 5-5. Five, five. I don't understand why East would just double two spades rather than bidding four directly with this hand. So that's a little weird to me. But anyway, feels like a pretty flat board. Took a while to get there. Board three. One diamond by our partner. We bid a heart. Partner bid two hearts. We bid three. Three diamonds? What? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I think I would auto pass two hearts with this hand. I mean, I don't know, this feels like a five count to me. I, I understand we actually have 11, but <laughs> Jack third in partner suit is not great support. Queen Jack ten of spades could be completely worthless. You know, partner has the red suits. They could have a singleton or doubleton spade over there. Um, Queen Jack ten of hearts is nice. Ace of clubs is good. Three diamonds feels like a massive overbid. Uh, four hearts by partner. How'd we end up? 
Well, off the top, it appears we have four losers. I mean, not exactly, but they should be able to set up a club. Maybe the diamond lead actually gives us enough time to do everything we want. Well, once again, you know, just a complete magnet for the opening lead, open one of a minor. They will always lead that suit. Spade switch. Well, against human opponents, you're practically required to put in the 10, I think. Because the 9 would deny the 10 for the robots, I'm not really sure. I'll play the 10, though. 10 ace. All right, let's try and pull trumps. If these split, we're in good shape. Okay. Hey, Ali, welcome. How are you doing? Oh, it must be like super early in the morning for you. Hmm. We have a problem. It's 8 a.m. Uh, I'm pretty sure diamonds are 5 1. Because West didn't need to play a club. Well, maybe, maybe, yeah. You haven't played this, you'll go. All right, see you later. Good luck in the tournament. You'll probably beat me on the first hand. <laughs> maybe even on this hand. I feel like I don't have a good start on this hand either. Um, hmm. And I don't think I can do anything if diamonds are 5 1. It sounds to me like East has the King of Clubs. I'm not certain about that, but if they do, I think we're in some real trouble. Because if I just pull trumps, Oh, I guess East gets triple squeeze. So if East does have five diamonds, the King of Spades and the King of Clubs, they do get squeezed on the fourth round of hearts. I mean, I'm down one. You know, I'm definitely down one on this hand. But the hope is to go down less than, less than that. If diamonds aren't 5-1, I, I could just like lead a spade up towards the queen jack right now and we would be in business. Or I could just duck a club, I mean either of those works. Rough a club in the south end, pull trumps, run all the red suits. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm very concerned about this 5-1 diamond possibility. Why is that? Because West didn't continue a second round of diamonds when they were in, they played a club. Hmm. I guess as long as East has both of the black cards, East is squeezed no matter what I do.
Wait, 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 I'm overcomplicating. I can just pull trumps and lead a spade, because this jack of diamonds is an entry to the spade winner. Aha. <laughs> I have figured it out. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Oh, my God. Okay, why is, why is bridge so hard? Right, I can't do that. Okay, okay. Well, this this is actually an incredible squeeze position if if people are paying attention to what I've been saying, which I can't imagine anyone is. Normally, I just spew random nonsense. Um, but I'm trying to decide if I should play for it because, for one thing, I'm not even 100% convinced that East has both of the missing black cards. Like, they could have just made a mistake with the Queen of Clubs here. Um, or, you know, not necessarily a mistake, but I mean, West could have led a club away from the King. Um, or West could have won the Ace of Spades from Ace King earlier. And also, I think, like, if Diamonds are 5 1, maybe they should have worked out to give their partner Diamond Rough. Maybe West would have tried harder for a diamond rough, like return to spade or something. Man, I'm actually very uncertain. Playing for the squeeze would be cool. Maybe style points is important. I would also have to read the carding. Cool is a good reason. Okay, so <laughs> let me elaborate on what needs to happen for the squeeze to work. So if East has both of the remaining black cards, I can cash two rounds of hearts. Now, East must keep at least three cards in the black suits. If they come down to like singleton, king of spades, I could then lead a low spade towards the queen jack. Um, <clears throat> They would have to win, and then they would basically have to cash out. The Jack of Clubs is also protected from a club lead because I have this Jack of Diamonds entry. Um, so that means that they, they can have at most three diamonds. Then I can cash three rounds of diamonds pitching a club. And now, um, East must keep the King of Clubs so they can have at most two spades. Am I, like, not counting something correctly? Maybe it's, like, a lot simpler than I'm making it out. I thought that something cool was happening, because then I could lead, I could cash diamonds, lead a spade up, and then exit a spade. I guess it's just... Maybe I can just, like, pull trumps and claim. I don't know. Let's, let's pull trumps. There's a diamond pitch. Let's find out if this was necessary, right? Why am I overcomplicating this? I can just lead a spade now. Right? I feel like I'm blind for about something here. All right, let's lead a spade. East does have the king of spades, so that's good news. What? West led the nine of clubs from King 10 9. <laughs> I mean, not that not that it really mattered, but also just it's really important to make normal leads. <laughs> or at least have some sort of carding agreements here. Diamonds were 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> Why did West lead a diamond against this auction? Diamonds are 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> I feel like I aged a full year playing that hand, and I really didn't need to. 
I had definitely overcomplicated the hand somehow. I don't know, maybe I thought I had more losers than I did. Well, whatever, we made our contract. Obviously, we could have just cashed a club in the end position, but that's good news for us. So on to board four. Club by north, diamond by east, we bit a heart. Okay. I don't mind this bid. I I think I've said this before, like you don't one of the reasons why you want to bid with a weak hand like this is that you want to protect your partner about having like a super strong hand in first seat. So if it had gone like a club pass, obviously we have to bid a heart. You know, our hand is kind of terrible. We do have an ace though. Four triple three, queen of clubs is fine. Um but when they overcall, you don't need to protect your partner anymore. So you don't need to bid on a marginal hand. Now, I mean, maybe this hand still qualifies, it's close. Having an ace is nice. Our heart suit is very weak, but the queen of clubs is still good. Three small diamonds isn't a great holding. Um, but anyway, so I wouldn't be upset at a partner who passed this. Uh, two diamonds by West, support double by our partner. We bid two hearts. I'm not convinced that's a very good bid. I don't know what I would do over the support double. If I was feeling ambitious, I might pass. Just because my hand's so bad, like I'm not convinced we're making two hearts. I might bid three clubs. I do have some club support, but Obviously, that could just be walking into like a a three three fit if partners like four three three three, which I guess would mean East has ever called on a four card suit. But we've seen the robots do that. Anyway, regardless, I'm not I'm not sure about the two heart bid. It might be okay. How did we end up? We have two spade losers, we have presumably two diamond losers, although the robots hate leading their own suit. Like normally if a human led the king of spades like this, I would place the ace of diamonds on my left. Um, but the robots just don't like, or don't really understand the concept of leading, leading their own suit. So king of spades lead. I mean, also the fact that West appears to have the king, queen of spades probably makes it less likely they have the ace of diamonds. So I think East probably has basically every missing card in the deck. Which is going to be like the ace, king of hearts, the ace of diamonds. This is going to be a problematic one. Obviously, if I can pull trumps and keep West off lead, we're in good shape. Then I can just run the club suit. But I don't think that's going to happen. So what exactly is my plan? If I win the Ace of Spades and run the Ten of Hearts, I mean, the worst case scenario is it goes 10 of hearts to the jack, east caches two more hearts, goes jack of spades, spade to west, queen, a diamond comes through, they take three diamonds. I don't really see an alternative to this line of play, though. Like, I could duck the opening lead, but I think, you know, west either switches to diamonds or hearts, both of which are probably bad for me. I could try and rough a diamond in the dummy. It kind of gives up on picking up the trump suit. I don't know, for whatever reason it feels natural to win the ace of spades here, maybe that's, maybe that's incorrect. Like, I can duck. I don't know. I, I suppose there's some chance that ducking works out for me. I mean, like, if West continues spades and spades are 5-2, I 
Maybe I can keep West off lead for the remainder of the hand. Um, all right, I'm just going to win the ace and do this. Oh, it looks like spades were 5 2. That's not great news. Yeah, now a diamond comes through. So, do I care if West. I mean, I know the Ace of Diamonds is offside. Let's just play low. Diamond to the 10. Wow. So spades are 5-2, diamonds are 5-3. We don't really know about the heart suit yet. But I think my play is I just have to pull trumps. You know, like, oh, West has... Ah. Oh. Oh, this is okay though, right? Because East has two more clubs. I mean, we're down two, but you know, not much we can do about that. I thought East pitched a diamond. No, East pitched a club, that's what happened. East pitched a club, down three. Well, I'm not sure we could do much about that once again. I mean, I could have ducked the first spade. Yeah, ducking the first spade would help because West has no real entry to get over to the third round of spades. I mean, honestly, I'm happy with down three. I was able to rough a diamond in the dummy, which I wasn't gonna be able to do otherwise. I could have cashed two clubs before, like, running the Ten of Hearts. Maybe that would have helped. Because I did end up losing my second club trick. I don't know. I think, how does two diamonds do on the hand? My guess is two diamonds probably makes, but I would have led a trump against it. And regardless, it might be better than minus 300 or minus 200. If they end up getting, uh, they're probably making 380. All right, board five. Let's continue on. I'm in four spades doubled now. <laughs> Probably not gonna be a good day for plus scores, is it? Partner opens a diamond, we bet a spade. One no trump by West. Is this natural or is this the other suits? This is natural. Two spades by my partner, big bid. Why would I ever bid three spades? I mean, just why would I ever bid three spades? West has been in no trump, very clearly indicating that they have good spades and diamonds, but three spades is insane. Three no trump? I don't know, we'll take a look at partner's hand afterwards and we correct to four spades. Uh, okay, and East doubles, wonderful. <laughs> what was three no trump? Wait, what was three no trump? 16 or more high card points. Yeah, a good reason for playing the Just Declare tournaments is to see the silly auctions. I'm with you on that. Um, <laughs> excuse me? You gotta follow your own convention system here. Partner has 12. This is wonderful. All right. So Queen of Hearts lead. Hmm. All 
I wonder how badly the diamonds sweat. Wow, the queen of hearts late. So east has the king of hearts. I'm trying to decide if I can play a spade to the queen. I mean, I, I know the king of spades is offside, but if I play a spade to the queen and West wins and plays a heart, they don't give their partner a diamond rough, which is something I'm trying to, uh, to avoid. The failure to follow their own self-description has seemed to you to be getting worse recently. <laughs> the best so far is where they described it as 17 or more high card points and a stopper in spades when they had nine and no stopper. That's, that's a big stretch. That is a big stretch. <clears throat> like if diamonds are 3-1 and I can end up losing two diamonds and a spade, will be in good shape. But I think if I go like ace of hearts, spade to the ace, diamond, west wins and tries a heart, I rough, but then when they get back in, they'll know to give partner a diamond rough. I mean, diamonds could be two, two, it's possible. Hmm. Okay, so how does this work? Ace of hearts, spade to the queen, west wins. Let's say they return a heart. I don't think any of this works. Yeah, I, I feel like I actually do need to risk just leading a diamond to the king earlier. Otherwise, I believe north is getting tapped out. And then I'm going to be going down more than just one. So what does that mean? Ace of hearts, heart rough, diamond. Ace of hearts, spade. I feel like my brain's in an entire fog. I've been doing like common Torx problems all day, and then I just decided to turn on stream, and maybe this was a bad idea. My brain feels like mush. Rough a heart, lead a diamond. Spade to the queen. Spade to the ace. I don't know, these are my choices. <laughs> I haven't figured out which one I want to go with. Is there any chance East actually has the Spade King? I mean, East is the one who doubled. No, <laughs> but like I said, I don't think there's anything I can do about that. All right, I'm down one. Because if I pulled trumps, am I sure about this, man? So hurt rough, right? If I had played 
Ace of Spades, Club to the Ace, Heart Rough, Diamond. West wins, plays a heart. I have to rough, I pull the last trump, yeah, then the diamonds don't run. Yeah, okay. Uh, at least I'm not going completely insane. Wow, we got to two clubs and partner has a, <laughs> an enormous club fit. How did this happen? We opened a spade with 15, balanced, good bid. Partner bid a no trump, we bid two clubs, and partner with six card support didn't find a raise. Well done, pard. It appears we don't make much of anything. We only have eight tricks and no trump. Okay. I guess this hand is going to be all about trying to pick up the spade suit for an extra trick. So can I do this if spades are 4-2? Let's say I win the ace of clubs. Let's suppose I can pull two rounds of trump. If I play ace of clubs, king of clubs, spade. They win, they play heart, I win, I go ace of spades, spade rough, club to the queen, spade rough, club to the jack, but that's not good enough. Because then I have to, uh, I've rid myself of all my trumps. So I can cash the spade, but I end up losing three diamonds. So I think I need to preserve this extra club as an entry. Which means we should, uh... just duck a spade immediately. Definitely low, right? I guess I don't want to run into the risk that spades are actually a five, five whatever this is. <clears throat> okay, you all get two tricks. Five one, five one, that was the split I was thinking of. I got there eventually. A heart by S, a spade by West, pass, pass, we balance with three clubs. Okay. Pass three diamonds, pass three no trump. Oh, I don't know about this auction. Do we think three diamonds was really forcing? I'm not convinced this is forcing. Roughing low, a bit risky there, but but it uh, it wasn't roughing low. East played the eight of clubs on the first round of the suit. So all of Dummy's clubs were, uh, were equals. I was paying it enough attention to see that. <laughs> but yeah, you're, you're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right that uh, we would not want to rough low. Um, Okay, I'm still not convinced three diamonds is supposed to be forcing in this auction, but here we are. And we bid three no. Which has landed us in this slightly dubious contract. Hmm. Well, we don't have a lot to go on. I mean, 
West is ever called a spade, but East has passed. And it looks to me like East has spade support, doesn't it? We only have four spades between us. The opponents have nine. So unless spades are seven, two, two, two around the table, which is anything's possible with the robots. Um, it feels as if East is likely to have spade support, which means that East is very unlikely to have values. One of those values being the club queen. The counterpoint to that is West is West has more spades than East, so there's uh, more empty spaces in East's hand for this queen of clubs. Well, <clears throat> I think I'm running the jack of clubs. So let, let me just try and imagine a hand where East has three card spade support and wouldn't raise. Uh, if we're playing imps, it's not a bad plan to go ace king of clubs and then heart to the 10. But at match points here, we're still trying to take all the tricks. Like even if I guess the clubs, I might still play a heart to the 10 to try and take as many tricks as possible. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a good thought. I, I just think that like at match points, people are going to take a club finesse one way or another. Um, so I would, I would probably want to, uh, be in one of those camps. Hmm. So what was I thinking about? So let's see, East has three small spades. Let's say they have four small hearts. Queen third of clubs and like queen third of diamonds. I mean, that's a hand where I wouldn't bid. And what does West Sand look like then? They have ace, queen, jack, six the spades. They have jack third of hearts. King, Jack, Doubleton of Diamonds, and a Doubleton Club. I mean, those hands are entirely possible. Like, I, I'm not... So maybe I should play a club to the king and run the 10. There just aren't a lot of diamond holdings that Ace can have. Because diamonds is a suit we're missing most of the honors. So if East has like king, queen, third of diamonds, they can't really have the club queen. This is why I'm kind of considering playing West for that card. Like if East has king, jack, third of diamonds, maybe they can't have the club queen. I mean, spades could be five, four for all we know. Hmm. I mean, an alternative plan is we could play ace, king, queen of hearts, kind of along the lines of what Ewan's saying. If the jack of hearts drops, we might get some more information upon running the suit. And if the jack of hearts doesn't drop, maybe we'll get count information in the heart suit. I don't like it just because I like trying to take as many tricks as possible. And here, I could easily see us taking 12 tricks. We guess the queen of clubs, we play heart to the 10, that works. We have five clubs, five hearts, and one trick in each of the other suits. Um, but this might be a better plan to try and, uh, try and make the contract if we're concerned about that. Well, you like the ace-king-queen of hearts plan too? That is a sensible plan. One of the nice things it has going for it is that 
because I'm thinking West has most of the missing high cards, even if hearts are 4-3, um, with West holding three of them, it, I think it's more likely West has Jack third than three small. Only slightly, though. I don't learn a ton if the hearts don't drop, but if hearts are 5-2, that gives me a lot of info. I, I, actually, one of the big issues with playing ace-king, queen of hearts is I remove an extra hand entry. If West happens to have queen fourth of clubs, I need to take two club hooks. Slim chance that that's what's going on. But yeah, I'm just thinking, like, if I play the ace of hearts, king of hearts, and West shows out, then I absolutely want to hook West for the for the club queen. Well, my first instinct was to do this, so I'm going to do this. <laughs> Who knows if it's right? Okay, that went well. <clears throat> Looks like Ewan's line also would have worked. That feels like Queen Doubleton. We get a heart discard from West. Another heart discard from West. Heart discard from East. Another heart discard from East. Oh no. <laughs> uh, hold on. I have six hearts, they pitched four of them. Okay, the hearts are just dropping. <laughs> Do I need to count this again? I'm so, I'm so lost today. Is that all the diamonds also? No, you still have the king. So what was this hand East passed with? East passed with four small spades and just the diamond king. What a hand. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's an interesting match point problem. It, I mean, it's also an interesting imp problem. I don't know what the... Uh, you could probably work it out what the optimal line of play at imps would be, whether it's like ace-king of clubs and then try and take the heart hook, or whether it's ace-king, queen of hearts, or whether it's just like... I don't know, try and guess the clubs or something. Um, but what we did worked. Six clubs, I guess one quick look at the awkward contract, because I think these slams don't really uh, offer a ton of interesting choices, unfortunately. Um, it looks like this one is probably going to be some of the same, either the King of Hearts is on side or not, but we'll take a look at the auction. So West is a passed hand and comes in with two spades. A heart, we bid two clubs. West comes in two spades. Partner bids three clubs. We get three spades from East. We bid three now. Yeah, I mean, three now feels like an underbid, unfortunately, but obviously there's a lot of preemption going on in the auction. We don't have enough room to really explore for everything, so three now makes sense. Partner bids four spades. I don't know if cubid's necessarily the right word, but I would tend to believe this just like shows a hand that doesn't want to play no trump and therefore probably wants to play in clubs. We key card in clubs. Partner <laughs> bids six to show their spade void, which we probably already thought was going on. But the opponents didn't realize that partner had a spade void, so they led the ace of spades anyways, which is great. 
total side note, your language of what we did does make it feel much more inclusive and also every time makes me think of writing papers where we did everything even if I'm the only author. <laughs> That's a funny thing about research is that you have to use the, uh, is pronoun the right word, we, or wh whatever it is, like the article, um, the, the global or collective we. Um, so yeah, I, I think I've kind of gotten used to it, but I, I've also kind of felt that where I want it to be like sort of a community type thing. I mean, sure, I'm making a lot of decisions, clicking cards, um, listening to all the comments in chat, but I do hope that, um, I guess people get something more out of, out of the stream than just like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Like, this is the best thing to do, blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't know what the best thing to do is most of the time. I am trying things and hoping that they work out. And I think it tends to work out sometimes. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, thanks a bunch. I appreciate it. So, I mean, we can be in trouble here if everything splits badly. If clubs are 3-0, we can only rough one of the Jack of Spades and Diamond in the dummy. N maybe. Um, I suppose we could go like King of Diamonds, Diamond to the Ace, King of Spades, pitching. Rough the Jack of Spades and then cross some clubs and see if everything's good, but I think first things first is to play a club to the Ace. Because if these split, that was, that was a long tank from West. <laughs> yeah, if these split, then we can basically just claim. Long tank from East. Oh, heart discard makes me think the King of Hearts is offside. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Why not just lead your singleton? <laughs> oh my god. What a terrible opening lead. Ace of spades. I don't even think we're making this if they lead a heart. I mean, maybe we are. But it looks like you probably have to guess the queen of diamonds on a heart lead. I don't know, maybe you guessed the Queen of Diamonds correctly. Well, board nine. So our partner opens a diamond. We bid a spade. Looks good so far. Our partner bids two spades and we blast four spades. I guess I'm not going to think too hard about it. This hand feels a little strong for four spades. But it might depend on what kind of hand partner can hold. Like if partner could hold ace, king, queen of diamonds and the king of spades, it's only a 12 count. Um, we still need to do something about our heart losers, but we're getting close to a slam. Anyway, as is, it looks like we've missed a grand. <laughs> so, I... <laughs> maybe my analysis was not far off that this hand is a little too strong for, uh, for just blasting four spades. Wow. Of course, this is a very, very good two spade bid from our partner. I think most players would jump to three spades with that kind of hand. Singleton, all aces and kings. Good five card suit. Um, okay, so what is the plan here? If diamonds are 3 2 and spades are 3 1, we have all the tricks, right? We can pull three rounds of trumps, go ace of clubs, ace king of diamonds, king of clubs, rough a diamond, rough a heart and then use diamonds to pitch our last two heart losers. I 
I mean, similarly, if spades are 2-2 and diamonds are 4-1, but I don't see any reason not to pull trumps immediately. If I go heart to the ace, heart rough, club to the ace, heart rough, No, I, I think the setting up diamonds line has to be best. Because it looks like I would need to actually rough all three hearts in the dummy, and that's like playing for four four hearts. It's got to be better to just pull trumps. All right. Okay. <laughs> that is... Unfortunate, or maybe very fortunate if the entire field is reaching the excellent contract to seven spades and we're sitting here in four. But of course, in a declare a play only event, that's not happening. Well, now I'm a little sad I didn't start spades by like playing a spade to the king. Although maybe I just don't have the entries to do all of that stuff. Roughing a heart would still be preferable. Huh. Yeah, now I'm in, now I'm not in great shape. Because if I go ace of clubs, ace king of diamonds, king of clubs, or in some order, rough a diamond. I somehow need to get back over there and rough a club. And then I somehow need to get back over there and run the diamonds. And I don't think I can do all of that. Maybe West makes a mistake somewhere along the way. Like if West over roughs the third round of diamonds, that's good for me, right? I think, maybe. <sighs> okay, Brain, I'm gonna need you to function for at least another 15 minutes or so. So, okay, I'm pretty sure this line doesn't work. Ace of clubs, let's say I can play two diamonds and they split. King of clubs pitching a diamond, diamond rough, yeah? If West doesn't over rough, oh, no, that's totally fine. If West doesn't over rough, I can just go queen of spades, spade to the king, and then run diamonds pitching. Yay, okay, 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 okay. So if diamonds are 3-2, we still have... 12 tricks. If diamonds are 4-1, is there anything I can do about it now? Yeah, I mean, diamonds 4... I, I'm not so concerned about cashing the king of diamonds. Um, but it's, it's probably a little better to do that. It gives them less options, but... I don't think it really helps me. If I cash the like if I'm able to cash the king of diamonds and then pitch a diamond on the king of clubs, I rough a diamond, let's say West discards. I don't know, maybe diamonds are just splitting. The robots love leading dummy suit, and they didn't lead a diamond this time, so maybe diamonds are actually five zero. Guess we're about to find out. Aha! <laughs> interesting, interesting. Uh, I feel like this card is not cashing. 
I, I think the King of Clubs is getting rough. That's actually what I'm worried about right now. And I mean, even if it doesn't, the Nine of Clubs is probably getting roughed. Yeah, we're in we're in real trouble. <clears throat> or not? No. Yep, we're we're in real trouble. Okay. So West is over roughing this. I mean, I could rough high. I am missing the important spots. If I had the nine of spades, well, if I had the nine of spades, I probably would have just continued pulling trumps earlier. Um, Like, I can rough high and rough a heart and rough a diamond high and collect 10 tricks. I don't really see a route to 11. I suppose I needed to diagnose all of this, like, bad Trump split before I pulled a round of Trump. And then I would have been in much better shape. Oh, or you know what? Maybe if I hadn't played that second round of diamonds, maybe if I had roughed a heart and gone king of clubs club rough, and then led a diamond. Hmm. Well, this, this hand has been a mess. I don't see a way to do better than 10 tricks, but Is it, is it possible that I'm actually just roughing this low? There's no way, right? But it doesn't cost. I rough low, it gets over roughed. West returns a trump. I win. I rough a heart. I rough a diamond. Oh no, it does cost. Hmm. Right? <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I'm super out of it today. I don't think I'm going to score very well in this event. All right. I, I think I do this. Rough a heart. Turn the Queen of Hearts. It's hoping for a low heart back at the end. Well, that could have gone better. Good stop, partner. Well done. A good thing we didn't get overboard and, you know, managed to find our way into an excellent Grand Slam. Especially if I'm going to play the hand like that. Yeah, so could I have done better at the point where Ten of Hearts is the ace? Ace of spades, diamond to the ace, club to the ace. So if I just rough a heart from here and go king of clubs, club rough. Heart rough, king of spades, king of diamonds. Yeah, that's, that's way better. I think we get 11 tricks that way. Whoopsies. 
What? <laughs> Wait a second. I'm, I'm sorry. I just looked at this auction. Three spades, double. Four spades. Four no trump showing both minors. Also, by the way, 10 to 11 high card points. I'll pass and partner tables a small singleton spade. Uh, this is wonderful. Oh, this is fantastic. So West is the preemptor. <sighs> As you were saying, you think it's getting a little more ridiculous? Ace of spades, queen of spades. All right. I need to decide what I'm doing. <laughs> Not much the play of this, surely. Well, they're going to probably run seven spades, and then I suppose I have the rest. We do have six top tricks, so I'm going to agree with you. But just in case the spade suit gets blocked somehow, I don't know how that would happen. King doubleton with east. Oh my god. Did we do it? This is king third, right? <laughs> this is like absolutely king third. Hold on, hold on. Okay, we, we do need to think. You think it's king fourth? Oh my god, you're so right. Yeah, West has seven. Okay, okay. No, you're you're absolutely right. Maybe I don't need to think too hard. Down four. Well, that was an excellent auction. <laughs> How did the normal contracts do? It looks as if four hearts might be the only making game for our side. We have a club loser, a diamond loser, and a spade loser. Unless I'm missing something. Yeah, so maybe maybe no contract is making. Well, sorry, partner. I shouldn't have bid four now. Put you in a very difficult spot when I showed both miners. Two spades doubled, God. <laughs> At least we have some plus scores today, but man, minus 300, minus 100, minus 200. These do not feel like good results. We passed in first seat. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I'm not convinced about passing first seat here. Seven spades to the king. Pass, pass, a club by partner. A diamond on our right, we bit a spade. What? I mean, you can't expect me to believe that it's better to pass and then pretend that we have a hand with some values and like a short spade suit than it is to just preempt, either first seat or directly over the one diamond bid. Like two spades has to be, well, maybe two spades is fit showing. So then bid three spades now, I don't know. Anyway, we bid a spade. Partner bid two clubs two diamonds, and we chose not to bid. <sighs> All right, need to, need to just find my zen place because this is not bridge. Whew. Two diamonds, pass, pass, partner balances with two hearts, which is interesting. So 
So partner has a big hand over there with both round suits, clubs and hearts. We decide to bid two spades because, well, I get it here. We now know that we don't have a big spade fit and partner's not really fitting our hand all that well, but I might have been tempted to pass two hearts. I don't know, maybe that's a bit much. Anyway, we bid two spades, it got doubled by West. Jack of Diamonds lead. Cool. So we have four red suit losers off the top. We have probably three spade losers off the top. Wait, why did partner even balance? This bid I don't understand. Also, why do they say 15 or fewer high card points? Oh, because of the two club bid. Well, either way, I don't understand the balancing two hearts on this kind of hand. Queen doubleton of diamonds is terrible. Partner does not fit you. Your hand's just all around awful. You're basically asking to get doubled. And the opponent's obliged. Um, I mean, I think East is just going to win the Ace or King of Diamonds at trick one and play a spade. West is going to win the Jack, play a diamond. They're going to cash two diamonds, then they're going to cash two hearts, and then they're going to play another diamond. And I'm just going to be real sad during this entire process. I guess I should cover. Okay. It's not a bad singleton for me to, for East to hold. Oh, they found the heart switch. Okay, okay. This isn't so bad, right? Maybe this is so bad. I mean, it doesn't help to pitch a heart, so let's rough. Yep. Well, that hand certainly could have gone better if someone did chose different actions. I mean, it's possible three spades goes pass, pass, double, all pass. I guess. But at least we put East in a difficult spot. You know, maybe they just pass out three spades, or maybe they balance with four diamonds or something. But yeah, the way the auction proceeded, obviously partner could have saved us. Last board, and then we'll see how I did. I might be below average. I don't think I've been below average in this event since I started playing it, but this is, I'm, I'm sure that I'm below average on board one. End board four, well, maybe. Board three might be a cold top. The opponents could have taken four tricks. Maybe it's not so bad. I could be 
overestimating the damage that has happened, but we do have some pretty poor results. So last word, one club by east, we overcalled a spade. I don't mind a spade. Partner's a past hand. Like it imps, I guess even it imps, I wouldn't blast four spades with this. We just don't have enough tricks. But something like three spades is very sensible, just preemptive. Uh, but okay, club, a spade, negative double, partner bids two diamonds, and we jump to three spades. This is an interesting spot. I wonder what a two heart bid would be systemically. I don't think it should show hearts just because West has showed hearts. I would kind of like to cubid something. Maybe it's all just unnecessary. Maybe I should just bid four spades here. You know, partners showed diamonds. We have queen jack third. I mean, if partner's whole hand is ace king fifth of diamonds and out, then we just have 10 tricks and spades most of the time. So three spades feels a bit underwhelming. Doesn't seem like that's the right number of spades to bid on this hand. Seven of diamonds lead. Uh-oh. That could be a singleton. Heart switch. Okay, at least there's no diamond rough. Is there anything about the auction that indicates I should try a spade hook? I don't think so. I believe East is likely to have long clubs. And if diamonds really are 3-1, then East is probably short in spades, if anything. So let's just play them from the top. Like I said, East is short in spades. <laughs> Wow, that is a lot of clubs. Also, once again, <laughs> yeah, of course spades are 4-1. Luckily in duplicate bridge, they'll be 4-1 for everyone. But <laughs> I do just want to point out once again, the two diamond bid, excellent way to get the robots to lead your suit is to just bid it. <laughs> so West having to choose from two doubletons a doubleton in the suit the opponents have bid, and a doubleton in the suit that his partner has bid leads the one the opponents have bid, <laughs> which is kind of insane. How did we do? 